What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. It's time to install another power converter. Um, if you've watched all my videos, you've seen me install this one. Um, just a quick recap. My solar panel system is 24 volt. Um, that's so that I can get away from voltage drop. So in order to use 12 volt lights or uh, 12 volt pumps, like for my uh, my garden project, I need to be able to down convert from 24 volt to 12 volt. So I got this one back in the day, a while back. This is this is only good for five amps though. So I've got both of my corn cob lights connected to it, and that's pretty much it. That that pretty much taps that out. So I wanted to get a bigger one, but I've been hesitating for quite a while on doing that. And I finally pulled the trigger um, on this unit. This I don't really particularly love this brand. It's kind of a really low-end car audio brand. Uh, but they make some other kind of electronics, um, kind of like this. Just a lot of DC electronics um, stuff. But they're kind of a low-end. So I'm a little hesitant about this, but I read some reviews did some homework and for how cheap this is I think it was 30 bucks I want to say on Amazon um, it does 720 watts so here's the specs as you can see it's going to take my 24 volts input from my solar panel system and convert it to 12 volts so I can run 12 volt loads it's not the world's most efficient unit but it will get the job done um, and it it does 30 amps so um, and that's 720 watts is the surge power uh, about half of that for continuous use which is more than enough for my um, my pump for my my garden and so forth anyway that's the project so I bought this unit uh, I'm not really the greatest unboxing uh, review guy but I'll just show you briefly um, what we get here you get a spare fuse get some mounting hardware uh, no instructions. That's awesome. I mean, I guess that's what you expect with this particular brand, but it's going to be pretty self-explanatory how to wire this thing up. So it just looks like a little car amplifier. Uh, pretty similar form factor. The whole outside is aluminum and it acts as a heat sink uh, for four little tabs on the outside for mounting and I haven't decided where I'm going to mount this yet um, it may end up going over here on another piece of plywood or something like that but uh, that's the model number and this is the the business end here this is the 30 amp fuse so like we showed you get a, an extra fuse in case you blow it accidentally and this will, this should be really easy to wire up. So we just put our positive and our negative from our solar here, and negative positive to the the loads here, uh, and that's literally it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and wire this up, mount it somewhere, wire it up, and we're going to try it out on the the pump the, for the garden uh, sprinkler system. Okay, so here we got it mounted. I put a piece of plywood over here I'm gonna do some other things over here anyway so got a nice long piece put the uh, the converter over here um, wired it up like I said these two wires here come from the solar these are the 24 volt and uh, this is 8 gauge like car audio wire I just had it laying around I know that's not the ideal wire but this is a uh, basically a temporary project I'll rewire it again next year um, so anyway I just didn't want to spend any more money on wire that's why that's that <clears throat> uh, same thing over here on the, the wire but uh, this is carrying the 12 volt from the um, output side and it's just going over to here and then down and through some holes over there and I'll tidy that up and put that somewhere later not too terribly worried about that so Here's where it comes out. <clears throat> it 
did that so it would be protected from sunlight because uh, obviously car audio wire is not designed for sun exposure. And then it comes over here. Now I've just got it temporarily connected. I'll, uh, again, I'll permanently connect this. I just, I'm just testing it out right now. But it's connected to this Harbor Freight uh, 12 volt DC pump that uh, you've seen me use in, uh, in other videos uh, as I'm getting ready for my, my garden watering project, which is already about halfway done. Um, so anyway, I've got this, uh, this timer. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. So this is open. Got my valve open on my water storage here. So just we just need to turn on the, uh, the pump and we'll be rocking and rolling with water coming out of these sprayers. So we'll go ahead and, uh, and I wired it in my solar panel system. I'm big on using load centers, um, as you see here. So I wired up a 40 amp um, breaker there with uh, that positive wire coming out of it. Uh, wired the negative to the bus bar there. And that's how it's how it's going down from the battery bank into the uh, load center on into the converter out the converter with 12 volt and over into that uh, the pump so when I flip this you'll hear the pump kick on hopefully it's pretty loud and I'll show you the uh, on my little clamp uh, gauge here I'll go ahead and clamp it on here so we can see the output uh, amperage here. Okay, it's on. So we're move, gonna move about 18 and a half amps on the DC side, or the 12 volt side, I'm sorry, they're both DC. And 10.3-ish on the 24 volt side. So we're lo we are losing about, what, 20%? I'll have to do some math, but we're losing a little bit in the conversion there, but that's okay, because I've got plenty of solar to spare. So we'll go ahead and turn this off. And I'll show you the pump running. I'm sure you can hear it. So that pumps water down this black tube and over into these sprayers. I don't know if you, how well you're going to be able to see this on. But there's water coming out of there all the way over to the end. The furthest sprayer is right over here. Looks like it's working just fine. So, anyway, uh, I'm pleased with the pile. Uh, it does what it says it's supposed to do. It actually, I mean, this is about 18 amps. It's about on the uh, the 12 volt side. It's probably that's pretty good, I would say. Um, it's not taxing it. It's not really hot. I haven't heard it complain. So I'll run this over a couple days, see if it does anything, and I'll add to this video. But for now, I'm I'm happy with this. Uh, I think it's going to be a good, a good investment for about 30 bucks, um, and uh, yeah, that's about it. I don't know what else to say about this. It's pretty straightforward, easy to wire up. If you have any questions, let me know. As always, thanks for watching, guys.